When it comes to events inside JavaScript, we sometimes have default events that happens unintentionally. For example, if we were to click a anchor tag inside a website, it tries to send us off to a destination because an anchor tag is a link and it does that by default, which is a default event we have when it comes to anchor tags. Now, sometimes using JavaScript, we want to prevent that default behavior from happening and we need to catch that behavior and stop it before it actually happens. Now, the same thing goes for when we have a form inside a website. Sometimes we want to run a piece of JavaScript code before the form gets submitted. And we also need to be able to catch that uh, form submit before it actually submits the form and then do something using JavaScript. So we have a very specific method we can use in order to do this. So as you can see in front of me here, do actually have a very basic demo that has a form at the top of the website. And if I were to scroll down, you can see I have a anchor tag button at the bottom of the website. Now using JavaScript, I went in and said that when the button gets clicked, it should go ahead and change the text inside the button to yay instead of whatever is default inside the button. And using uh, JavaScript, I also went in and created a function that would do something else when the form gets submitted instead of it actually submitting the form. Now, right now, of course, there's no code inside the uh, the function here that actually stops the form because we haven't talked about how to actually do it yet. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So just to kind of show what I mean when I say that we have a default event that happens, if we were to go inside the website and click the anchor tag, which is at the bottom of the website, it is going to send me back up to the top of the page because right now inside the hyper reference, inside the anchor tag, I have it set to hashtag, which is the default value when you don't have any sort of link you want to send it to when you click the button. So hashtag, or if I just were to remove the hashtag, it's just going to send you back up to the top of the website. So we were to go back in here and actually click the button, you can see that I get pushed up to the top. So we want that default behavior to not happen when I do actually click the button. And we can do that in a very simple way, in the same way as we can stop the form from actually submitting. So going inside our script file, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to tell the function which is going to get run because we have a event handle down here that actually links to it, that we want to grab the event that the object has as a default and then do something to it. Now, the way that we refer to an event that by default is attached to the object that we created a event handler for is by going inside the function that the event handler is linking to and then writing E inside the parentheses. Now the E inside the parentheses refers to the event that is attached to the object that the event handler is trying to do something to. So down here, as you can see, we have the button. And when I do a on click event on it using the event handler, it is going to run the change button text function. So because this is the object that we're doing something to, the E up here refers to that object's event if that makes sense. So inside the actual function as the first thing, I'm going to take the event by referring to E, which gets passed into the function. And then I want to say prevent default parentheses semicolon. And this is simply what we need to do in order to prevent the default behavior. So if we were to go back inside the website after saving, of course, refreshing, then you can see when I go to the bottom of the page, clicking the button, it doesn't send us back up to the top of the page. Again, if we were to go up to the form here and actually click the button, you can see that it tries to send me to whatever action I pinpointed to inside the form tag. So again, if I want to stop this from happening and then maybe do something using JavaScript before we actually uh, send it into the, the script file, then what I can do is I can go inside the function that is tied to the form object that we have in here then I can go ahead and just do the exact same thing. I can refer to the event that happens to the object. And then I can go ahead and just paste in the prevent default function that goes in and stops whatever default event we have happening to the form. So again, if we were to save this, go inside the website, you're going to notice that if I try to submit the form, nothing really happens in here. And that's because we prevented the default event from happening. So this is how you prevent default events from happening inside JavaScript. And this is a very useful tip for you if you want to uh, do something on HTML elements that has default behavior that you don't want to happen uh, before you actually run some kind of JavaScript code. So this is something you will probably be using in the future since it's something that at least I use quite often when I use JavaScript code inside my website. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode.